Good morning, friends. I am going through the McDonald's drive-thru and getting my oatmeal this morning. I go to get my hair cut today at 11, and we're going to fly to glory, and we're going to look at some stuff around there. I'm definitely going today, so we're going to definitely look around there. I promised it yesterday, and then it rained, and I couldn't get an appointment, so today is the day. We're going to, and if it looks a little overcast, it's cool. It's finally feeling like fall. Hang on just a second. Appreciate you. Thank you. So uh, we're going to go fly the glory and look at some some uh, music business stuff there around Berry Hill, uh, which is just south of Nashville, off of uh, I-65. And uh, it's a little. It was a little neighborhood back in the day, and uh, they turned to businesses, and a lot of the businesses turned into uh, studios and that kind of stuff. It was little, little small homes. And uh, some some really nice studios are in there. Uh, Blackbird, which is owned by Martina McBride's husband, which is a uh, world-class studio, is in there. Uh, Jonathan Kane's Addiction, which is a world-class studio, is in there. And, and we'll look for some other stuff. So stay tuned, friends. This is downtown Nashville, friends. And look at all those birds just perched over the road on that wire. Isn't that odd? They're not on any of the other wire. They're just directly over the road right there. Wonder why. And look, right up here, directly over the road, same thing. You see them right there on the right. It's just bizarre. That is downtown Nashville right there. And I'm headed to get old haircut. Old haircut. So friends, we're close to the area that I was talking about called Berry Hill. This is actually, uh, this, this area is called Hundred Oaks. This used to be Hundred Oaks Mall and they've kind of changed it. Uh, the, the mall actually got taken over by Vanderbilt. And so it's called, uh, it still says 100 Oaks. You can see it up there, but it also says Vanderbilt Health. And so that, that building, when I first moved here, that was a, a mall and it's still got some stores in it, but most of it is Vanderbilt Hospital. And uh, I think maybe even um, some of the Vanderbilt College stuff. You can see that it says uh, surgical weight loss right there, Vanderbilt. And uh, we're on Powell Avenue, which is, that's I-65 right over here. Straight ahead of us would be Thompson Lane. If you turn to the right, Thompson Lane actually becomes Briley. So this next intersection up here, the big intersection, if you turn to the right, it would take you back to Opryland and all that kind of stuff. Um, and if you go to the left, it will take you over to the west side of town to uh, like Bell Mead, that kind of that kind of area. And uh, so right up here is the area that we were talking about. This next intersection will take us here. And I'm not going to be able to show you much of it uh, before I get my hair cut. But after I get my hair cut, we'll ride back through and we'll look at a couple of different things. And um, I'm going to go straight right here. So when I cross Thompson Lane, that becomes a little community called Berry Hill. They even have their own police department and that kind of stuff. But there's a lot of uh, record studios, a lot of music related stuff in here, as well as a bunch of hippie places as well. And uh, uh, I used to work in the pest control industry years ago and my office was actually in here. And um, I don't obviously don't work in the pest control industry anymore, but we'll ride through and you can see they've got like a juice bar and uh, Wise Kitchen and there's little antique stores and just a, a real cool things in here. There's also dentist offices and plumbing places and there's Monel's, which is a place to eat, a cafe. Over on the left, I'm gonna show you is Blackbird. Blackbird, and I mentioned it earlier, Blackbird is owned by Martina McBride's husband. And uh, he's a huge Beatles collector, I hear. And uh, one of these days, we're gonna go into Blackbird and, and make some videos. My neighbor's Martina's uh, road manager. So we'll, he'll help us to get into Blackbird, but you can see that van right there says Blackbird. That is Blackbird Studios. You'll see how large it is. They've got all these different areas. That is a world-class studio right here. All right, friends, so I got my hair cut. Oh, yeah, a little bit shorter. 
hopefully <laughs> I can do something with it. But I'm gonna show you some a few things around in this uh, in Berry Hill. This right here is where my office used to be. My office was that. It's a salon now, but that was when I was working in the pest control industry. And if you look right here, there's a cluster of uh, studios. You can see that they've got murals and stuff painted on the walls. There's old Carl Perkins and Albert King and Aretha Franklin. And there's Johnny Cash. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Johnny Cash. And it's House of Blues Studio right there, Nashville. It's House of Blues. That's House of Blues Studio A and B right here. So they've got quite a few. I've actually bought some stuff from this studio and we're going to circle around and I'm going to show you a few other little highlights. There's House of Blue Studios there. They've got quite a few of these of these houses that are their studios. This one coming up is Jonathan Kane's studio. This building right there, that brown building, that's Jonathan Kane's studio called Addiction. And he is the keyboard player from Journey. If you've heard any Journey songs, he's the piano player and he wrote it out of in fact. And um, Joe Glazier, which is a famous uh, guy that, that does guitar repair and sets up guitars and all that stuff, he's got a uh, little place right around here. And you can see there's all kinds of other businesses in there. But Joe's place, I believe, right over here. In fact, I think it may not even be marked. That right there i believe 434 is joe's and you see he's got the mailbox painted like van halen that's his guitar shop right there like eddie van halen's guitar and he sets up guitars and does all that kind of stuff he's a pro at that and um there's all kinds of stuff in here and there's a policeman right there and they're real funny in this little neighborhood the police are so I'm gonna not let him see me. And somebody was in front of me, barely moving. So I wasn't able to go across. And that policeman was actually looking at a cell phone instead of policing. But there's a lot of cool stuff in here. That's the police department right here on the corner for this place. And circle around see if we can find anything else we'll try to just hit the the highlights if you will so the 515 the escape game is over there that's some more house of blues stuff That's Studio D for the House of Blues right there, and you can see the water tank that says House of Blues on it, just like you can see it, most of the House of Blues. That's it, up on the Berry Hill, that's part of the House of Blues stuff as well. Crossroads, Music City. And then we're gonna send the glory up. I've got something else I wanna show you, not music related, but something that I think is, is pretty cool from the ground you really can't understand what it looks like up top but once you get up top you realize that it's um i mean it's just a, a very unusual structure and it's been there a long time uh it's very old but there's they still use it but it's very unusual looking and i want to show it to you stay tuned friends this is the back side of blackbird friends you can see that that's the top of blackbird over there and you see they've got writing rooms available for songwriters at stage right studios. And so this is the back side of it. I'm not sure how much of this is all tied into Blackbird. Um, but there, there's different things here. See, that's Jantech. That's a music school right there. Um, playground recording studios. So there's all kinds of these studios in this little area called Barry. So now you know, friends. It's crazy loud out here. But, so friends, it's crazy loud out here, but this is the thing that I wanted to show you. You see that 
that's a, uh, they call this Reservoir Park. There's actually a park, if you go down here on this side, that you can walk through. And you can see that this used to be where you could walk up in there. Now, because it's water, they don't want anybody to be able to get up in there and uh, uh, around that stuff. So we're going to fly the glory up there and take a look at it. And, uh, and it's from down here, it doesn't look like much, but the sky is amazing. So let's fly the glory. We're going to check it out. Stay tuned, friends. Check out my new haircut. What do you think? All right, friends, we're about to send the glory up. And boy, this road here, this is 8th Avenue in Nashville. I don't think I've ever been anywhere where there was this much traffic. It's so noisy here. It is crazy how loud it is. And we're going to try to get the glory up here. Hopefully, we can get it. We're going to fly over the reservoir to see what it looks like. Everybody stay tuned. Here we go. So I'm going to have to get my glasses on so I can see the details. And um, okay. I want it to be ready to go green. There it goes, ready to go GPS. Turn the camera on. So here we go, friends. And it's saying that I'm in some kind of a safety zone. I don't know why. Um, what that means, but what this reservoir looks like from the sky. What's amazing to me, there's even a house on it. So that's really cool. There's a house on there, so I'm gonna fly over to it. And I'm gonna drop down in there, but that is a really cool looking place. And it has been there a long time. It looks almost antique. And there's water inside there. That's where they are redoing the water. And see that house sitting on it? Isn't that cool? And that is downtown Nashville right over there. You see the Batman building. It used to be called the Bell South building, and now it's, uh, I think, is it AT&T, maybe? Look at that house sitting on the top of that thing. Really neat looking. After doing some research, friends, I found that this thing was built in 1889, has been in works ever since then, still used for city water. And also in 1912, part of the, uh, uh, one of the walls broke out and it actually damaged houses and flooded stuff there around it. And the city water uh, department had to, to pay people to fix their homes and, and pay for damages and that kind of stuff. So very interesting history uh, on this thing. And they built it because of some cholera outbreaks and that kind of stuff from the uh, 1800s. Up around there, and you see that there's all kinds of drives. That's that park that I was showing. That's the walkway to the park out there in the distance between where I'm at and the tennis court. And then you, I'm going to turn back around one more time so you can see the, the size of this thing. It is huge. I'm even going to raise that. Let's go 400 feet. But I just thought that was an interesting thing that you may want to see. I always wondered what it looked like. Because from the ground, you can't see it. It's way up on top of that hill. So there it is, friends. And then I'm going to look up. And you can see downtown Nashville again right there. And I'm going to bring her on back. And we're going to land. But look at all that traffic on that road. That's 
8th Avenue or Franklin. It turns into Franklin Road as it goes further south. I'm south of Nashville downtown. Um, that's I-65 over to your left, and they're heading north, the ones on the far side. The ones on the, that are going down are heading south towards uh, Brentwood and Franklin. So there you go, friends. I'm going to bring her back in, and we'll fly another day. Stay tuned. Actually, vlog over.